What up? What up, though, Boogie? <laughs> what you drinking on? What you got in that cup? I got a little Jose Cuervo tequila. Oh, still doing it big out there in the Costa Rica's I see. Listen, I'm out here with an alligator tooth on my neck. I'm out here speaking bilingual. Real you can't tell me nothing. Out there. You know, I, I look, I just got real Jamaican. Let me stop playing. Yeah, you 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 did. It was I'm I was like, about yeah, to that little was. island, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do that because I don't want nobody nah, coming at my that. comments. Oh, uh, you know they about to flame your ass. Ooh, coming out here real. You got to be real authentic, okay? No, oh, man. This, uh, How you feeling, bro? I'm good, man. This crown got me uh, got me feeling real right. It's going to be another another good show. Oh, Lord, Lord. Lord. Here Yo, we go. Um, what did you want to be when you were growing up? What was that what one you thing you was like, this is what I want to be? What was it? Yeah, I wanted to be... I wanted to be short. <laughs> Shit. Short? Nigga, why? Because obviously you ain't that. Right. No, look, it is so it's so weird because like I had a growth spurt at like fourth grade and I was the tallest person everywhere. Was like, you flooding in school? Man, flooding, high water. High water, like all all that, what, whatever term you want to think. Like, and then fifth grade, I, you know, fifth grade, I've been the same height since fifth grade. So, Damn. Just, yeah, Wait, the height fifth, you are right now? Yes. Okay. All right. I, I get it. I was about so to say, not, like, so people, I'm talking about people calling me, like, that's a huge bit, you know, tree, you know, yeah. like, teacher. You got called every. Amazon, whatever, giraffe, tree, whatever gir- giant. Just, I'm like, man, I'm I'm only in fifth grade, my dude. Yeah. You want to dunking on not, niggas, though, right? I hope right. you dunking on niggas. I wasn't fifth. dunking just yet. I had to cons- I had to hold it in, and 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 stir all the insults. You want to show out too much, right? I had to get it all ready. You know what I'm saying? You know when you have to practice insults in the mirror. Yeah. I did this, that. This is why you uh you a top notch roaster. Hey. You, yeah, this is this is why you top notch in the game because you've been hey. dealing with it since the fifth grade. Once you once you repress all that hate and and hurt, man, I'm done. I wish somebody would come at me. For those of y'all that do not know, Adrian is top notch roaster. The first night I met Adrian, we had a show. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And she we go. <laughs> roasted the shit out of me. And it was on some, hey, how you doing? Like, hey, what's up? I'm Nate. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is what we do. This is our introductions. I was like, all right. I'm like, that's how we get Ooh. down in the shy. That's how we get like, down in the shy. You got to be ready. With them shit. So if you, oh, what if did you want to be? What did you want to be? Um, I want to be Bobby Brown. No lies. I wanted to be uh that's right, Bobby Brown. I know you can buy. I wanted to be cocaine job, Bobby Brown. <laughs> Yo, I did not know that. Wait, but like also stop <laughs> laughing because he also had a stroke. That's why did he? Yeah, this I man had a, he had a stroke, a mini stroke or a mini heart attack. But that's why his his face on one side was like, and I know you. I, I thought it was the the, the drugs. I like, mean, legit. in addition to. Okay, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, like legit as a as a kid, I would walk around. My mom would tell me to do something, and I'd be like, nah, because it's my prerogative, and I'd get in trouble. <laughs> you know, that was legit me. I wanted to be like, I was like, you was like, you was dancing right. and all, but yeah, I'm so glad that did not happen though, because you know, Bobby was a. God knew there's the world only needed one Bobby Brown. Like the Lord knew he was like, that's not your lane, bro. It's not hey, your man. lane. We gotta give Bobby Brown his love. He's he's doing. He's man. This man had one the greatest a, person in New Edition ever. Man, greatest member of New Edition yeah. by I, far I, the greatest. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with that. It's like, uh, him, Johnny Gill. Uh, what is it? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Bev. Oh, Bev. Ralph comes after Bev. I would think. No, wait, was it Ronnie Bell, Biv DeVoe? Yeah, yeah. Bell, nigga. Biv DeVoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bell, nobody cared about Bell. Uh, Biv, no, it was Biv, it was Biv. Bivens, it was Michael Bivens. Nobody cared about the other two ones. Yeah, like Ronnie, didn't nobody give a fuck about him. And Ronnie, Ronnie was just on the coattail. He was just like, where yeah. y'all need me at? Come on. Nobody cared about any of them niggas. <laughs> but 
Yeah, easily. I mean, Ralph and the other, you could switch them out, but it's really just, it's all about Bobby and Johnny. Those were the two niggas that everybody came to see. Yeah, they really, like, literally switched out everybody. Like, who y'all got? Who who can come to that? Legit. Legit. And I I still watch that movie. That's a great BET movie. Yeah, it was. It was long as hell. Gotta be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what the longest one, the longest movie, probably the- Michael Jackson. The Jackson 5. I was gonna say if you didn't say the the Jackson Five movie, we was gonna have to. I had to pick another co-host. I was like, nah, nigga. Yo, I remember. Do you remember I sitting down that. and watching the Jackson Five movie? With the fam. with the family, and I I just remember looking at my mom like, hey, mom, you you gonna let us watch this? I can quote that shit. What is going with that? <laughs> my I think my mom wanted to wanted us to watch this because she wanted to scare us. Cause when they were getting their ass whooped, she was like, "Hey, pay attention! Hey, oh. hey, hey! You, you see that, bro? Hey, whoa! Just, you see how mean their daddy was? This could be you. You gonna act right? But that, I mean, let's let's not act like the nigga Joe wasn't, you know, just a disciplinarian for no goddamn reason, beating niggas for leaving towels in the pool. Like who left a towel in the pool? That shit, like nigga, that's not worth an ass whooping. That, Yo, look you know, look wrong, and Joe is like, go go get a switch. I'd be like, hey, nigga Marlon got the turn wrong and had to go get his own switch. Like, damn, nigga, he just it was one turn. <laughs> that, like, that nigga turned the other way. He was like, nope. <laughs> it was like shit. <laughs> he was like, you're supposed to turn to the right. You turn to the left. You go get your switch. <laughs> But daddy, I don't know my left and right. Go get me your switch. And then when the nigga got the turn right, he was like, see, I'm only hard on you so you can make it. I was like, nigga, that's not a consolation. You beat my ass, bro. Like, shit. Now I get to be in the group. Fuck out of here with that they, shit. They made DCFS specifically for Joe Jackson. Man. That's what they did. You think Marlon still gets that shit now? Even as like, it was like nigga, you was the worst one in the group. First think- off. Tito and them, think, that nigga. I think all I think all the Jacksons still to this day have PTSD. This is why they can't they can't be around people like that. That's why Jermaine's hair is like that. Because the only way your hair would be like that is if you got your ass whooped repeatedly, like every day. There's no other logical explanation behind that. Like so that what you're crazy. saying is his tresses, his hair got got so scared they stiffed up. So now it's just a mold. Because they scared and don't want to move the wrong. That nigga way. used an <laughs> entire can of Murray's. That's that's a lifetime supply of Murray's <laughs> in that nigga's hairdo. That's why it's scared straight like that. Like <laughs> that that nigga. I mean, no. like, bruh. like <laughs> yo, we we gotta get this show started. We about to roast your brain. Shit. Let's get this Let's show started. started. Let's start it. <laughs> All right. This crown is talking. Welcome to another episode. Uh, Late night with me and Adrian. Making our own intro. The intro. The crown's got me singing. The Quavo's got you dancing on Late night with me. And Adrian, don't forget to like, subscribe on all podcast platforms. We on Google, we on Apple, we on Spotify, we on whatever the other one is. We <laughs> on all them shits. <laughs> I can't believe you out here with a falsetto dream. You 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 the dream right now with this falsetto you got. Right you know, I, I secretly wanted to be a singer. You know, but it just didn't didn't pan out. You know, like just if I could be like Gerald Levert, Cisco, Brian Knight, all them niggas in one, like that would just be me. Like I'd just be like a, a dope ass singing nigga. But y'all, yeah. make sure y'all like, subscribe on all podcast yes. platforms. We are on YouTube. We are on Twitter. We are on Instagram. Late night with Nate and Adrian. Shout out to the No Sleep Crew. We see our DJ job. Following us, shout out to everybody. Yo, Boogie, before I get this show started, yes. I owe you an apology. You, you owe, owe me an apology? You an apology. So oh, me wow. being a brother who huh. is 
open <laughs> to admitting when he may be wrong. You know, okay. I owe you an apology. You know, sometimes you know, I be talking but not listening. And I be over talking niggas and not listening. And I apologize. I apologize for not letting you get your thoughts, your opinions across. Because that's not me. That's not me. I love what? black women. See, I got I got black women, you know, up here on the wall. You a black woman. You know, we got black women's on the show. I love y'all. And I owe you an apology for over talking you. Where where is this coming from? Who who is this from the wife? No, no, no. Not not uh not from her. I just kind of went back and rewatched some of the episodes. I was like, nigga, you you talking. You're talking, not letting your co-hosts talk. Oh wow! You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm big on research, and you know, just like how can we make the show better? And it was like, nigga, let your co-host talk. Mm. Let her, you know, co-host. This is mm. late night with Nate and Adrian. Not late night with Nate. It's not late night with Nate and them other niggas. Mm. It's late night with Nate and Adrian. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm. I feel like you should be drinking Crown more often like when we I, I might have to break out and, and we ain't even started the smoking yet so who Ooh. knows who knows see, see, when, when, when we when you start to smoke you start to go real 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 loopy right now you, um, you go in different different it, ways it, it depends on the strain you know last okay. week it was some larry og this week is green crack so we're we gonna see what we're gonna see what happens you know these names always amaze me, like the different me names too. of the weed. I, how creative, like, I, I feel like we can take all of this energy that like, black people um, decide on, on naming these weeds and put it into something a little bit more useful, which, but, you know, weed is not, I, I, I love my weed. I so. feel like we need some of these names. Though. I, I just, me personally, as you know, a resident pothead, I just don't want to be, what am I smoking on? And some nigga walks up, this is that Gary. Like, nah, uh. nigga. I, I, need, I need some green crack. Like, ooh, that's interesting. Yeah. You know, this is that swampy alligator pussy. Like, I, that's, that's another interesting shit right there. Like, I want to smoke that. Like, that's some, I, I don't want to smoke like, yeah, nigga, this is green cucumber. Like, nigga, what? Like, no, nigga, that don't have a good name. But I feel so like it, the funnier the name, the better the weed. Wow. Okay. You need I could be way dick, off you know, you know, something. You like, said what? Do, do you have unicorn dick in, in there somewhere? Like, you know what I mean? Now, like, see, you, know, that one, you, you gotta, you gotta be, you know, you gotta, you gotta specify, you gotta be, you know, you gotta zone in on that and be like, look, this is, uh, this is weed. This is not, uh, not anything. I'm not into that freaky shit. Like, uh, dick. niggas be like, what the fuck is that nigga on? You know, you gotta, <laughs> gotta let them know. Okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. <laughs> but yeah, I owe you, I owe you that apology. And, uh, you know, I'm, the Lord is working on me, you know, so thank you okay. for being patient. As you know, I allow you to have some time to talk here on your own show, you know, on, nigga, on your this, show. This nigga really just said, well, thank you for allowing me to have time. Okay. Yeah, you know, you on your that. own show. Oh, okay. <laughs> on my own show. Appreciate it, buddy. Well, yo, how, how you doing though? You, you you out in uh? Listen, I'm still out here in these. I'm still out here in Costa Rica, out in this sun. Well, it's dark right now. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm thinking about it. You know, you might as well become uh, a citizen. Just become a citizen. My, a might as well. I don't see why not. They love me out here. They Ooh, out here. Citizenship. You know what I'm saying? They out here touching my hair. Well, they try to touch my hair. I was, I was going to you letting them touch it, or is it just like they just doing it? All, and what, which one is it? First of all, they can't reach my hair. I'm the tallest person in the whole country. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, let's be honest. They're about to sign you up for the for the basketball team, man. You about to be in the Olympics? I'm running. And all now the right. starting center for Costa Rica. <laughs> Give it up. For Adrian Denise. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I can totally, I can totally see that uh, that happening. But shoot, let's get this going, yo. We all, we hey. got a great show for y'all, yes. man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thanks. Our next segment coming up is one of the most hostile segments that we like to call "What the fuck is going on?" We're about to bring in our what the fuck corresponded with all of her rage give it up for the lightest meanest nicest woman on the planet 
Last week, you saw her in that basement with that 1987 paneling. Now yeah. she's back in Chicago, bringing us all that beige rage. Give it up for Chloe. What's up? The yeah, nicest and the meanest and the lightest. It just, it changes every week. I love it. I feel like the white side is the meanest. The oh, 100%. 100%. Absolutely. Yeah. She'll, call, she'll call the manager on the quicks, okay? In yeah, the I mean, the production, meaning before the show, she was going ham on us over Disney movies. So she ain't one to play with. Like, she will cut you. She well, because y'all, y'all, y'all were being a little disrespectful. You're being a, a little you. disrespectful to Disney and the movies and the musicals, okay? We can All talk right, about guys. that. Let, let me tell you what happened. Here's what happened, guys. Talking about Disney movies, Chloe was making a strong argument for the Sword in the Stone being her favorite movie. Lies. Her favorite movie. Absolutely and and we were all just like, yo, that's not a good movie. <laughs> not a good movie. She followed it up with Fox and the Hound as her number two. Are you I'm not like a so good movie. Because like before I came in here, you were like, Adrian, I'm so sorry. I was talking over you. And now you're coming in here being a motherfucking liar. What had happened was and then her top three. I said, was the great mouse detective. She had three good okay, ass movies. I see what he's doing. Okay. Go yeah. go go ahead, Chloe. Go ahead, Chloe. You done? Mm -hmm. Here's with okay. the beige rage. Uh no, so the top three are Hercules, mm. Emperor's yeah. New Groove, R.I.P. Eartha Kit, and wow. Aladdin. Ooh. I will die on the no fucking hill. I will die on this fucking hill. I love the Lion King. The Lion King is coming in at a fourth. It's coming in at, at a strong four. <laughs> at a strong so what is four. The fifth one? Round us the out. Fifth What's the, one, fifth one? the fifth one. Okay. <laughs> the fifth one will probably be the Little Mermaid, but only because I love Ursula. I fuck with Ursula. I love Ursula. Hi. You okay. know what? Come on. No, no, no. I, I, I mean, feel I, I feel her pain, her rage, fucking Triton. She I, wants her I, fucking crown. Yeah. Give her a goddamn crown, man. Come I on. I feel like she would be in my top 10, but not yeah, the top, top five. Wait, hold on, hold on. I don't got Beauty and the Beast in there, though. I like funny shit. I like I like for Beauty and the Beast is not funny. I mean, Belle's cool. You know, she's reading and shit, and the people in the town are like, why are you reading? That's weird. I mean, okay, Belle, you reading. And was dumb as shit. Like she's reading. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know everyone's like, there goes this weirdo walking through town reading another book again. And you're like, always okay. got her head in those books. <laughs> like, what the fuck? They about to burn down the damn bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> they don't understand it. This shit. <laughs> it's like goddamn books. Always got her head in some shit. You ain't never learned shit from no books. <laughs> She's like, Papa, why are they so mean to me? And he was like, you'll never understand. They're weird. We must move. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, oh, wait, no, I was going to say that's DreamWorks. I was going to say I do love Shrek, but that's DreamWorks. It's not Disney. That's DreamWorks. That's not yeah, Disney. Doesn't, doesn't count. count. Doesn't, doesn't count. count. Doesn't count. Um, let's, uh, let's but what does what count? Going. What does count is this first fucking topic because we go, gotta Trent talk. <laughs> we gotta talk about that fight. I mean, we 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 could talk about Tyson and Roy, but I think we gotta talk about. We all know what we gotta talk about first. We know what we gotta talk about first. Nate, what's the page rage? Rob, I I. I felt like Trump won the election when Nate Robinson got knocked out. Like that's what I felt. Like wow. the level of, that's what I felt. The level of disrespect that he brought to that's us by Trump. getting knocked out. I thought it was disrespectful. I was like, you gonna run your mouth. You're gonna run your mouth yeah. talking this mad shit. You're not training. What he started training in August. You're not fucking August. training. And you yeah. just thought you were going in the I was like, first of all, Jake Paul is He's a real he had, fighter. I thought he's a real fighter, but also I was feeling, I know I'm sure he's not, but I was feeling like some real like white supremacist vibes. I was like, do you not see what is in his eyes right now? I was like, he is. But you know what's funny? Coming for yeah. you. Isn't he, isn't he like three feet taller than Nate Robinson or something? Yes. Yeah. And he outweighed yeah. him by a lot. And his My arms are longer than that nigga by a lot. My whole like, thing is, let me just say this. My My whole thing is, 
I don't like people that talk shit initially. Like, don't upfront just talk the mess because it, to me, in my mind, you you're telling me you scared or what's about to happen. That's 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 really what I'm hearing out of your mouth. You're mm-hmm. talking all this big shit, but inside you're like, I don't quite understand <laughs> or know what's gonna happen. Yeah. We all knew this this man yeah. was about to. Yeah, I think we I think deep down in our hearts. I, I knew that Nate was gonna lose. I knew he was. I mean, his name's Nate, so okay. yeah, not not because of that. Not because of that. I thought I'm going oh. by Nathan for the rest of this goddamn show. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Nathaniel. <laughs> for like at least two weeks, I'm going by Nate or Nathan or Nathaniel. But no, I, I felt like it was just dumb from the start. Nick was talking cash shit from the beginning. I'm a nigga that loves talking cash shit, but I know when to talk that shit. This nigga didn't start training, like you said, Chloe, until August. Until August. Jake Paul has been training the entire year for this fight. Well, nigga. Well, also, the it's way like knowing Jake your Paul. lane. It's yeah. knowing your fucking lane. Like, yeah. you don't bomb. I'm, you don't talk shit if you're starting a new sport. You don't right. talk shit if you're starting a new sport. Yeah. To me, I feel like... To, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go I was going to say, I was going to say, to me, it felt like Jake Paul was actually training for something else. Like he was he was training for like war against yeah. people. Do you well, know he what wants to, he, he wants to fight the record? Nate? Oh my gosh. You said what? No, I would say the way he stood over Nate after he knocked him out, I was like, mm. He's really tra- he he's wa- he wants to fight McGregor. That's what he oh. he's he's throwing it out. He wants to fight McGregor. This was just a a little tune up get Nate out the way, but I, I mean, feel like inside, after he stood over him, he was like, nigga. You know what's crazy? Is that he nigga, uh, I don't want to call him a nigga, but, uh, you know, Jake Paul is a big Black Lives Matter person. And he showed that night that Nate's life did not matter because he <laughs> put that nigga out. As, to quote, I did, not see that, I did not see that comment at all. <laughs> to quote the great Gucci Mane, he put that nigga in the dirt. Like, he buried that nigga. Like, I just, and I'm not the, I'm not the, the, the boxing aficionado or by no means, but I know you don't fucking lead with your head. Like anytime you're just doing this, you about to get hit. But that was his heavy, that's the heaviest his part of his body. His, his, like, his hand body hand? was just like leaning forward. And I was like, what are you doing? Didn't have, that was his strategy. Maybe if I lean in, he might miss me, you know, but it was like, nigga, you, you just connecting. You, you're making the connection that much easier for him. It was maybe, like, maybe, he, maybe they plan this. Do you, do you think? What, like a rematch? No, for just <laughs> the, the fact that he needed to be the real underdog. Cause I always feel like Nate was the underdog, but now that he's gotten his ass whooped and everybody's looking and waiting for him to come out and say something, but now he's in hibernation. Like maybe people oh, are going to no. finally feel sorry for him. You know Do what you I mean? Know. Nah, no, no, no. One's ever, I'm not, I, put, I can't feel sorry for him. Go ahead. I was going to say the shit that he talked. No, no, no. Nobody going to feel sorry for that, you. You fucking talked. But I, yeah, that one, I can't feel sorry for a nigga who didn't even train. Like, nigga, you didn't even train. Like, I, no. So I can't. He was, he was coming in, he was coming in like AI, but. This nigga came in like, nigga, I'm an NBA player. Mm-hmm. And he also came in on some, because you know how we are, black people, we think we can whoop anybody's ass. Nigga, I'm black. This is for the people, like the ancestry. Nigga, I'm beating your ass off rip because I'm a nigga. That's probably the mentality he went in there. It's like, oh, you know, I'm black. I got them hands. And what a lot of niggas don't under, you can have hands, but you can't box. Like, that's just two different things. I notice that I feel like that mentality is mostly with men. Ooh, because I was going to say, I like, can't really. Crazy. Uh, yeah, I ego. can't. Like, you know what? Ego. I like, I, I can, what I can say is I can read a room um, and I know when my strengths are and when I can and cannot pop off. So I feel like that men are like, not, I was, I was mm-hmm. going to say, I, I've got my ass whooped in a couple of fights and I, I knew it was coming. I saw it coming uh, and I told him, <laughs> I don't fight. <laughs> Did you like see the punch? I was like, this is not gonna end well. I was like, it, it, it was a, it was a guy. He, it was a one. A I, I mean, fight is a strong word. I got my ass whooped. Okay. Damn. <laughs> I was in grade school. I was in grade school. I have, okay, I was about to be like, I have so many no. questions. Like, was this? It was before the height. 
Yeah. Come on now. I was in I was in grade school. He was like, I'm gonna beat you, I'm gonna beat you up. I was like, oh, three you probably will. I cannot <laughs> fight. What the fuck? <laughs> he just walked up to you and told you, I could take you. <laughs> I was like, Yeah, you can. He was like, Okay, this is gonna be easy. I'm like you can't fight, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, honestly, the, 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 Nate, the Nate Robinson fight was honestly more entertaining. I mean, I I liked uh, the Tyson and Roy fight. Uh, was you know, it was it was cool. It was you know, two uncles you know yeah, fighting. Maybe but... hug most of the fight, but yeah, it was cool. Wait, did you hear? He did you hear? Mike Tyson was high. Like he said, he was yeah, high he smoked a big blunt before he went out there. Hey man, respect to Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was like, everybody's worried to worry about Roy, but nobody's asking about me. me. He was like, I even thought about me. That was the weed talking. That, that was the, he had a paranoid moment. He, These niggas don't love me. That's what that was. That oh nigga, the weed hit him. He was like, I'm going to go out there. Hey, you, you know what, though? Like, if I'm Mike and Roy, I'm back there warming up. I was like, all right, I got at least at least 45, 50 minutes. And they was like, nah, you up right now, chief. I was like, but they just started. <laughs> yeah, like, like, they got knocked out. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, what took longer than the fight was them trying to peel him up off of the mat. Because he was out for like five minutes. That was he was out longer than the fight actually lasted. So. I legit was scared for him for a for a, a, a nice two seconds. I was second. like, all right, he moved, and I was like, all right, all right, he's good. He's good. No, well, my no. brother at first was like, he hasn't moved, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was yeah. like, no, that's probably because maybe this Tyson fight isn't gonna happen. It's looking bad. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Do we think Nate wasn't moving because he got hit really hard, or because he was embarrassed? Both oh, and what? Hit. hit 100% hit. Are you kidding me? Have Did you think that nigga's braids? The nigga's braids moved when he got hit. I was like, God damn, nigga, you got hit hard. Like, Wait, that shit. No, his braids turn into locks because he smashed the yeah. hair together. So. That nigga. Like, yo, but when Tyson and them came out, did you see them niggas' knees? Like, them niggas' knees was just like, I was like, y'all niggas, like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all need? They was not need than a motherfucker. It was like, bro. Well, that, I mean, and the fact that they were taking five minute naps on each other's shoulders every time they threw a punch. I was like, all right, everybody. Roy got tired. Of, Roy got tired of catching them, them bow or them uh, shots to the body. That's what that was. He's like, nigga, you, <laughs> them punches is hurting, dog. That's what that and was. He, his face at the end of the fight when Tyson was like, yeah, and I'll see you at the next. <laughs> the pause, like, bro. <laughs> For five seconds, was like <laughs> me. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Roy's Roy's wife was back there, like you're taking the fight. You're taking that next fight. <laughs> she, that nigga was like, I don't want none of that. And she was like, Oh no, nigga, we getting that bag. We want Tyson versus uh, Roy part two. That's what we I do. Mean, you know me. Good for them for just doing this, even though this was all practice and not yeah. real. It felt real to me. Felt real to Roy too. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was like, "Can I get the time out?" Like, shit. <laughs> that I nigga, I was like, maybe, maybe Tyson should have gave him some of the weed. He should be like, "Okay, you might want to smoke this before you." Roy, Roy was like, "Is that how punches felt now? Like, right. <laughs> is that how they feel now?" All right, okay, okay. You know, Roy got hands, though. He still was kind of, kind of quick with it a little bit, but I was like, "Yeah, Roy, you just, you just here." I think even Roy, he was like, "I'm just getting paid. I'm just getting paid. I'm gonna be hurting for a couple days after, but I'm gonna take this check." Like, like that was. that's why they were hugging and taking naps on each other's shoulders every time one threw a punch. It was a it was a hug and a nap. Roy was and like, oh, "This is gonna be another Tyson <laughs> fight, but I ain't gonna be here." Call Lennox Lewis. Call <laughs> Vander Holyfield. He was. Like, There's some other niggas out here who can get in the ring with your ass. I did my bid. <laughs> uh, uh, so the fight was really good, but we also got to talk about this true kitchen shit. That happened oh, in... I've been making my way around the, uh, the Al Gore's internet. Yeah. So, gosh, for those who don't know, uh, bas basically, uh, this... Uh, he was he, Is he the owner or the manager? I think he's the owner. I think he's the, the owner. He's one of the owners. Yeah. yeah. One of the owners of this restaurant, uh, True Kitchen in Dallas, Texas. Um, he has this DJ playing really good music. And 
people were drunk, people were having fun, and a woman people started. Were brunching. Yeah, people they were brunching. They were brunching uh, without masks, but we'll we'll talk about that later. Mm. Um, mm. That's Texas. <laughs> so They're basically, the people were were twerking, and I, I think he like asked them to stop a couple times, and then they wouldn't, and then he went off. Damn. Had the DJ turn off the music. He Come went ham talking about how. <laughs> talking about how this shit yeah you can't twerk this is he did it for the culture insulting them and saying like i want people to be to be respectable towards women 75 percent of my my clients are are women and like this isn't Black for women. the culture and blah 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 blah. and people went off These as they going should have <laughs> and, okay so the initial ask what like how did he ask did he was like so there were three three um he asked him three times mm -hmm. the third time that we all saw was the blow up okay yeah. but my, my whole thing is i want to see the three initial asks so yeah that yeah. part um we're probably not going to see that there was a video of him walking over and talking to them but they didn't there was no like recording yeah. of it we did just go, saw that. yeah i did because I, I i'm curious there's, there's he, a couple. Go, yeah. ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I'm just saying. Like, was he like, "Hey hoes, what can y'all?" Hey, hey hoes. Hey ho. Like, hey hoes. You hoes is acting up over here. Straighten right. up. Like, cause that's different. This versus, is like, business. Pardon me. Pardon me, harlots. Sisters, do you mind restraining from twerking How and chasing by? Right, like. I need to know that, but also like who? This is this is his establishment. Does it, it say? Does it say anywhere there will be no twerking? There be no that there, there be no out wrong but rambunctious movements. This is a DJ. What you well, expect? So will you hear some news? You're not supposed to pop up and pop this, out. It, Nate well, Nate him. has the rundown of the restrictions on this place, and it oh. is. It oh, is it like is? all white establishments with their yeah, restrictions combined. Like, well, yeah. before I read the restrictions or the dress code, I'm going to put it to you like this. <clears throat> he talked to him three times. That third time was definitely out of line. Okay. And from the story that was told, they were okay. actually, it was three, three, three tables, th mm -hmm. all in the same party, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, these young ladies were dancing on the tables. Mm -hmm. Feet were on the glass, like glass windows and everything, like, on his on actual sofas and everything. So I can understand if this is my place of business, my establishment. I'm like, hey, I don't mind if you twerk. I don't give a fuck. This is brunch. This is what we do at brunch. We twerk. We pop cheeks. If you ever been to a black brunch, you know there's going to be twerking going on. I have no issues with that. My oh. thing. <laughs> She gonna twerk right? Oh, is that? Is that or were you like trying to like row a boat? Like what? She she I was like, were you shim shimmy? But <laughs> but my thing is this is like look at least respect the man's furniture because I get where right. he's coming from. If you fall yeah. through the glass, you gonna want to sue me for falling through the glass. Right. So I, I understand him saying. But my thing is this. I'm not making that announcement in front of the whole goddamn establishment because everybody that's in there had nothing to do with that. So you could have easily been like, hey, ladies, you know, let's, let's take this down a notch or whatever. You know, let's just not be on a table. Have fun do what you do in your seats or whatever, but don't put your feet on the glass. He could have said that. He could have left the respectable bullshit out of it. I, I got you. See, see, this is where his problem is. He should have had security. That too. Yeah. Like, where's your security at? Because, because at this point, after the third ask, I would have been oh, like, yeah. my man, tell you them gotta go. they gotta go. Yeah, it's easy. over with. Versus you sitting now, turn off the turn off the music. The goddamn, the goddamn turn music. off the music. I gotta, I gotta, I got something to say. Also, you would think with all of his rules and restrictions that he has, and like with like, that he would have security. It's the true. Thing oh. that, this nigga, the, his his thought pro he was he was doing from the start. You're playing twerk music, bruh. Yeah. And you know, anytime we hear some throw that ass in a circle, cash yeah. money taking off through the nine nine in the two thousands. What you know? What to to do? That's like saying that's not that's not that's like saying you playing Simon Says and not listen to Simon. Come on, <laughs> man. Twerk. And I per I enjoy brunch. I enjoy seeing some popping over my eggs, Benedict. I'm okay with that. Thanks. 
You know, bottomless mimosas. Let's see some other bottoms. Make wow. them cheeks go boop 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 boop. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 one more time. What was boop, that? Boop 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 boop. boop, boop. <laughs> That's how them cheeks be going. You know, brunching. But you know, the nigga had he's got the dress code is ridiculous. I'm about to read you this dress code. It's an ass day. Here's the dress code. It says, please do verify guests are not wearing the following. Ball caps or casual headwear, do-rags, hair cap, etc. No slides. All slides, especially fuzzy ones. <laughs> fuzzy ones. He said who, fuzzy. Who? You should have just said fuzzy question. ones at that point. Adrian, a boogie. Who wears fuzzy slides? Fuzzy wuzzy 17 year olds. Who uh, wears fuzzy slides? Black. Black. No tank tops. No body suits. No explicit words. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say no body suits? Body suits. That's correct. I'm supposed to get my body yaddy 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 on. Also, the body suits suits. are just like what? The, exactly. There are, so, there are so many. That that that's literally just like a. Could be anything. It, it could literally be anything. He could, he could literally be like, you know what? Your shirt looks like it's attached to your pants. I'm gonna ask you to leave. Exactly. You, you can't have that onesie on. Get my the man, fuck out of here. Man, I got a condition, okay? I can't get the fuck out of here. It's my I establishment. I don't give a fuck about your, your condition. Oh, wow. Get okay. out of here. Oh. I don't need your money. Oh, okay. He goes, no explicit words or visuals. As he said, get the fuck out of my establishment. On his clothes? On their on, clothes? Breaking his own rules. Yeah, on your clothes. No explicit words or visuals. No wow. jerseys. No sagging pants, no sweatsuits, sweatpants, yoga outfits, or gym clothes. Be respectful when informing a guest they are not following our dress code. Inform them upon arrival, not after you've already put them on the wait list or check them in for reservation. We have the right to refuse service and will exercise that right if anyone appears in any way that is not respectful to the majority of our guests or that does not align with the true kitchen and cocktails way. So if pretty much, is not just say you don't want black people. Just say he said, it. Yeah. He, he pretty much said coons only. That yes. is a no yeah. niggas allowed in this establishment. Wow, is, that is this that is, is a white, a white only pie establishment. Wait, but, but you know what? There are establishments when I go when I go to where I don't need niggas. Like I like I like black people, but y'all know what I'm talking niggas. about. But yeah. no, I do. I know. where where you just like where you chilling? It's calm, serene. They playing low, like neo soul. Yep. Right, real, real, real light, light turn up shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real light with it, but you know, people, certain people Niggas. of that caliber come Niggas. in and be wilding the fuck out, and Niggas. then and then they no longer have any of us in those establishments. Yeah, that, legit. So wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> oh, Andrew's wait. gonna have to explain this one. <laughs> <laughs> no wow. Ages, like, I don't fuck with them niggas over there. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying <laughs> certain establishments. That's I get what all you I'm mean. saying. That's I all what I'm you saying. Mean. But I mean, it's it's still, and I understand you not wanting maybe a certain tie. I get that. But, but if that if you're come with a tire, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Just because I went, just because I wear a stripper outfit does not. Make you a stripper. Make me a stripper. Okay. And if you were a stripper, that's okay. We Thanks. stand strippers it's here. It's if you're a stripper, true. you're a stripper. If you're a hoe, you're a hoe. It doesn't I matter. Like, I feel like as long as you patronize my business, I don't give a fuck what you got on. Now, again, don't come in here dressed like you're going to Walmart because we have seen some niggas in Walmart who just be dressed any old kind of way. Wait, like, I didn't you know. Mean- I've been seeing bare asses. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so, Walk it confidently. Walk so it's like, look, Walmart. Don't come in here dressed like that. But you can, st- and, it's, and it's just like, look, man, you know how to conduct yourself. We're all adults. I don't have to have this drawn out like, you do this for the culture. Nigga, this ain't for the culture. This is for your pockets, nigga. And, and this is not it, like. 
Well, yeah, and not literally like, only. Go <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. You go ahead. You no, know I'm saying this is not like one of those restaurants, like a Harold's, that is for the culture. Some shit that has been around for like some years. This is not. There's there's spots all over this country, like in black cities, that are like literally cultural spots. And all Nick, he had to say, literally, all he had to say was, "Hey, get off my, get off this chair." That's what exactly. I was doing. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Security go over there. There's a, tons of things this nigga could have did. He didn't do it. Not to mention, let's hold on. Let's let's look. I looked at the menu. This nigga serves Duce. Nigga serves Hennessy. This nigga serves all types. And you playing twerk music, nigga. It sounds like a concoction. You waiting for some shit to happen? <laughs> to me, and like don't have a glass like wall or window like that. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how it's set up, but it kind of sounds like it's set up in a way that someone could fall through it. <laughs> if you know what's think crazy, that with the DJ, you know what's crazy is other restaurants in Dallas and Houston. Were like, oh, you can come twerk here. They promo videos was like having That's some it. slamming That's ass it. food and That's twerking. It. Like, look, if I More, open a restaurant. Yeah. If I open a brunch spot, I got to know there's going to be some twerking involved. It's going to be a little bit of twerking. Even, just... even in, first of all, brunch in general does not it's... discriminate on twerking. Let me no. just, let me, let me clear that up right now. I've been to brunches where I'm talking about oh, the array of rainbow of twerking. Okay. I'm talking about white, black, Asian. They, they, when the music is on and the mimosas is flowing, that ass is in the circle. Okay. It is. I gotta say though, I don't want to see white asses thrown in the circle. Hey, but okay. they be doing it though. They oh. do be doing it. It's it's terrible they to watch. Do. They be doing it. A, you just you have to you have to it's, it's to me, it's not brunch. If there ain't no twerk, this ain't brunch. This is just breakfast. I it's to me, I, I feel like he he what he I think is he probably had a bad afternoon, a bad morning. You know, he got a wrong text message. His security didn't decided to take that day off. So now he had to go back in a little early and manage, you know what I'm saying, the the, the restaurant by him, him his damn self. So he just, now he's frustrated. But he, like, but he like went, he had to have had like a bad like year went, to go in the way that he went yeah, in. Like yeah, his family. I also think some of it was, you know, it was like these, these chicks ain't respecting me. You know, I done told them like two, three times, so now I gotta go really ham on them. You know, it miss me that, with the respectability yeah. politics bullshit, bro. Like niggas is gonna respect you regard whether you twerk or not. Niggas is gonna if, if a nigga doesn't want to respect you, he's already got that in his mind. Don't That's I'm doing cool. it for y'all because the niggas, if they see you twerking, they're not gonna respect you. Nigga, no. Man, I would have roasted it up right then and there. I was like, with all due respect, sir. Um, get your tight ass sweater shirt ass out of here. Get ass out of here. Get your high water face ass motherfucking ass out of here. I don't think I've ever your been out of here. Fuck out of here. I'd be like, nigga, these eggs suck. Ooh, <laughs> get the fuck, fuck up out of here. Shirt. Let me ask y'all this question though. So if y'all are in there and y'all are hearing him, you know, talk to other queens like that, do you get up? Do you leave? Do oh, you ever come back? I, I go off 100%. One hundred percent. What I do is it depends. It it depends on how much food I still have on my plate. Oh, he ain't taking so, that. I'm gonna eat my food and I'm not gonna pay my fucking check. Like, what you gonna do? Beat my ass, nigga? Yeah, you like you gotta right come and cut me out. You now what you gonna do? Like, what you gonna do now? Fuck these eggs, nigga. Dry ass he, bacon. I I don't understand how he expects everybody to be conservative when. There, when the DJ is playing twerk music, literally, bro, you should have had on some goddamn BB and CC if you wanted this to be a little <laughs> chill session or something. This nigga said melody, <laughs> right? This nigga was like, he should have had on some like Anita Baker, some patties, some just some smooth shit. You just want some? Okay, we about to do some. Whoa, whoa, about to hit us with the. Frankie Beverly and Mays. It was some shit like that. I mean, nigga, we would have still got up. We would have still got we up. We would have. The, the that, that's what I'm saying. You just, have, you just need to have utter silence. And if then, you know, you just needs elevator music. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. If you have elevator music, if you, if you don't want people to have fun, get up and dance and twerk and do whatever, then like utter silence or like some trap play country music. Well, no, you know what I mean now. Every person that comes in there now, he's going to be like, okay, you only got one time. 
This is a no twerking establishment. You only got one warning. This is it. <laughs> that nigga is gonna be watching. I like, bet you everybody. Oh, I bet you everybody know. I bet you everybody know knows his establishment now. Yeah. They for the they worst have, reasons. The yeah, worst. But no, apparently sales are booming for him. Apparently, after that They're video like went that, viral. Bro. Yeah. Imagine if you like the other business partner. I'm like, this nigga said what? And if 75% of your business <laughs> is black women, I wouldn't be going off on black women. Wait, and it made no sense because he announced that too. He was like, and 75% of my business is black women. So I was like, do you know who you're yelling at right now? Yeah, right. Nigga, like you you yelling at all the black women. Like, what the fuck is your problem? Like <laughs> Wait, I could just wait. What if the other owner like finds out by watching at all the videos getting roasted at his restaurant, and then he calls your man? He's like, "Hey, my man, what happened?" <laughs> it's like Marcus. We talked about your tone, your attitude. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> Shit. Yo, then we got we got one more. What's we the last do. One? I was gonna be yeah, like, uh, speaking of sales booming, um, booming. y'all look. The McRib, it, it's back. And uh, <laughs> McDonald's oh, yeah. is giving away 10,000 free barbecue sandwiches for fans who shave. And my question is, shave what? Shave where? How do I get? You know what I mean? Like, it just says shave. There's no. There's they got to no, be like, specific shave. about that one. Yeah, it's like, no, shave my really beard, shave it. my armpits, shave my clit. Like, what are we like? Like, what are we looking at here? You know what I mean? I am not a rib fan in general. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You're not a rib fan. Period. You're not a fan of the McRib. Oh, yeah. You got to Ribs. You don't. You ain't black, nigga. You don't like ribs. You ain't black. I don't like ribs. I'm playing. You black. black. I don't don't rock with ribs, so. Oh, that No ribs at all? Like beef or pork? Or you just don't like them? Yeah. Do you like barbecue at all? (laughs) (laughs) You don't. You don't like. Wait, hold up. This may be you don't that like part. barbecue. No, no, no. I love oh, barbecue. Oh, okay, okay. Just don't like ribs. Oh, you just don't like ribs. Okay. I just don't like ribs. I mean, that's right, okay. That's you can eat the McRib. It's not really your rib. You can eat that. That's true. That's we don't true. even know okay. what it is. That's the thing. It's a mystery. I don't know if it's pork. It, it just I, I want to be in the plant and I want to ask them like, do they just like have like a little hose and just squirt it into like a rib mold and they bake it? Like, how does it? I just I have so many questions. Like, Ew. and then the people who eat the McRib, why? Like, you have no like, taste buds or nothing. Is there is there like a a fake bone? Is There's, there a fake bone so. in between? Like, yeah, they have like the in the mold. It has like the the yeah the fake bone. Yeah, it's just weird. It's weird. It's just, and they put like onions on there and pickles. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, who eats onions and pickles on ribs? Like, that's not even. Man, you know a lot about this big rib. Yeah, you know, I'm fat. I've I've studied. I've never had it, but I've I've studied the menu of of you know restaurants and things. You've never had it, but you know what's on it. Right, you I've seen the commercial, the nigga. They showed on the commercial. It's got onions and pickles on it and shit. Wait, 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 wait. I look at. We all watch commercials, but ain't nobody staring. You know. Intensely. Hey, I'm not about to fat shame me. All right, I'm fat. I know I got a problem, but I ain't oh, eating. Rib, but we fashion you, but no, we're, we're just kind of concerned that you know the ins You're and outs. Of it. Look, I go to McDonald's a lot. Okay, not a lot, but I go enough to know what's on the menu. Wait, so you just you just took back what you said initially? So is it a lot or isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so do you eat I, McDonald's a lot? I won't say a do lot. You know? I, I know I know enough that you know um it took off the extra piece of cheese on the Big Mac and it pissed me the fuck off. Got so it. you know, all That's y'all out there that you know eating these dry ass Big Macs, you know, you have to if you don't add an extra piece of cheese on the Big Mac, you got no taste buds. It's a dry burger. You gotta I have mean, extra no, not a lot of people know that there's no cheese anymore on this burger, right? Like it's just you. I'm look, I'm trying to save people's lives. Like for people who like the fish fillet, they don't even give you a whole piece of cheese. They cheat, nigga. They give you a half a piece of cheese. It's, it's not, not real cheese. Real. It's not. It doesn't matter. They still cheating you out of a whole piece of cheese on that fake piece call of it fish. Cheese if it's not cheese, my heart hurts. Well, it's it's yellow. It tastes like cheese. Shit. Y'all niggas eat don't act like y'all niggas is too good for McDonald's. 
She no, is. No. I, I eat McDonald's no. here and there, but yeah. not to the point where I'm uh, no. it, uh, noticing different subtle changes, changes. in the meal. Look, yeah, man, you know I'm, there, happy like, meal toys. I'm not the only person that it was been on Twitter, it's been all over. Niggas know about not getting it's funny. I went, it was one of my homies. We went to McDonald's in Hyde Park. Late as fuck. It was the worst McDonald's you can ever fucking go to in Chicago. One of high because they never have anything. I was like, yo, I was like, what you want, bro? I got it. He was like, uh, let me get the double cheeseburger. And I was like, nigga, what's the difference between a double cheeseburger and the uh the McDouble? He was like, the extra piece of cheese, bro. You gotta have two pieces of cheese. You can't be eating dry sandwiches. The and then nigga, and then and then they was like, We got it. We out of the double cheeseburger. Yo, that may, I swear to God, every time you pull up that McDonald's, it's like, this is what we got. We got burger buns, we got straws, we got napkins, and we have four-piece nuggets, only four-piece nuggets. That's all you can get. That's literally the McDonald's in Hyde Park. The niggas never have nothing. It's that should have been the my trigger. They never have nothing. Never have nothing. I'm just mad that McDonald's stopped McFlurry and the McFlurry. Then it's not a McFlurry; it's just ice cream with top. They got the McFlurry machine, like, though. They got the they got the. They McFlurry do, machine. but they're all just like it's broken. I was like, it's not broken. You lying? Can they you always McFlurry be lying about McFlurry? shit, man. They always be lying about stuff. It's just that's all and they can't do. Even be mad, McDonald's is trash, so don't eat the McRib. But if you if you're hungry and you need to get food, then eat the McRib. Shave and. Go eat the Shave and eat that McRib. Shave and eat the McRib. Yeah, if it I makes think... your heart happy, uh, it. not literally, because it, it won't make your heart happy literally. It will kill you. But if it makes your heart happy emotionally, you should eat it. It'll make your heart enlarge, but that's another point. Enlarge. Thank you You'll so die. much. We appreciate you, Chloe, for popping on up <laughs> in this joint, giving us the what the fuck. We're going to keep, we talk for what the fuck a very long ass time. We're about to uh, keep this moving. I'm going to. Uh, Pop on out. We're gonna bring uh I don't know why Chloe left. She's about to pop back in for the Queens, but uh <laughs> right, like she just like no nah, nigga. But shit, I'm about to pop on out. We're about to bring uh Ro in for the ladies segment, which I'll uh, take over. So uh I'll be yes, back. Sir. This Dude. is one of my favorite segments that we get to drop some knowledge and some advice we like to call. Questions. Oh, I didn't say it was late. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get right into it. What we got for the first question? It's a little bit lengthy. Um, okay. Hey, Queens. I asked God to send me a man that would always oh, love me. Oh, that's a sweet prayer. He sent me a son. Mm. I love my baby, but I really wanted a man. Am I wrong for feeling this way? Mm. Listen, she. I, I think it's in your question. I love my baby, mm -hmm. but I really wanted a man. I, listen, you. You have a you have a son. Congratulations. He will be a man. He's not going to be your man. You can't do nothing with that yeah. man. So optimism to, to me, I felt like God did exactly what he said he was going to do. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. that, you know, and now this gets into specifics, you know, we have to be specifics. Like I want a man to be sexual with, you know, like you, you have to be specific <laughs> with that. Right. So we learned our lesson. Yeah. She's yeah. like, I, and this isn't the gift I asked for. <laughs> Holding the baby by the foot, you know. <laughs> also, like, you don't, men are. You don't want the headache. Men are trash. Like, I'm gonna say it. Like, just, just you don't want it. Like, I, I, I don't know. I feel you don't want. Well, what you, what are you saying? You don't want the baby because she already got the baby. Like, yeah. you don't want oh, it. Well, you don't want I, it. I, 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 I mean, a, a man. Period. I don't know. I just feel. I just feel like. I feel like you could wish for better things, right? I feel like you could ask God for better things. I just don't know if a man is like up there, like a man sexually, a child. Now, if you ask for a child and you got a child, congrats to whoever wants that. I wouldn't want that. But I feel like we can we can reach for bigger and better things if you're going to ask God for stuff. I don't know. I, 
Yeah, like, do you want to chime in, Ro, before yeah. I, I mean, I, I feel like you're not wrong for feeling that way because at the end of the day, it was you were born by yourself, you're gonna die by yourself, you're your own right. person, and a lot right. of the times a kid gets involved in the equation and people kind of feel like I can't not like my kid right now because he's acting up or yada yada. So yeah, you can feel this way. Um, I, I think so. You know, you're entitled to your feelings and I think you just weren't specific enough, you know, like, um, yeah, yeah he's going to always love you, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe he's going to help you work on yourself so you can get to that journey to find the man, you know, look at it as like a blessing. He's going to guide you somewhere else. <laughs> right. I, I just feel like to me, I'm like, you want to ask God, the almighty, all powerful God who does wonders and miracles. He busy for a, a man. Yeah, a, a, a man. like you could have said, world peace, uh, survive. You know, uh, money, lots of hunger, money. money. A, ma a man. A man is what you well, ask the stars for. You ask yeah. the stars about a man. You don't ask God for a man because. Um, Right. I mean, I mean you, you guys act like you, like you can't ask God only one question. I be asking about five questions every night. Right, right. Questions. No. <laughs> you know, wait, you what I'm saying is, I, I feel like you shouldn't limit yourself in, into asking God for such so for man made things, okay? For or woman made yeah. things, I should say, woman made yes. things. And like when you want to ask for a man, you should be asking your terror card reader whether or not a man is in your future. Okay. Not God. Mero, That's the stars. Saying. That's what yeah. you do. Like because because God God likes to play the long game. You know, right. maybe God gave you this kid, and maybe in the future you're gonna find a man who also has a kid, and then you bond and like you bond over having a kid, and like it's gonna be like that. Like God likes to play that long game. That's why you 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 ask him for. Like, like short, right. short lived stuff, kind of. That, that's what you gotta do. You gotta call the stars and the tarot card readers, right? Man. Yeah, all to be like, yo, what's about to happen? Because you want something immediate. That's really what you're saying. Am I wrong for feeling this way? Well, are you gonna tell your son? Boo! <laughs> ah. I love you, but I was really hoping for somebody I can screw. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. <laughs> Good luck with that, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. Next one. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> My 14 year old daughter asked Ooh, about masturbation. Good. I'm happy she came to me, I'm guessing, instead of like porn or something. Um, mm -hmm. We talked, and I agreed to buy her a small vibrator. My husband found out and was livid. Was it wrong to buy the vibrator? No. Elaborate. Why not? But she it, she is 14 years old. She is exploring. She is allowed to explore how she wants to explore. Her, um, whoever must, oh, daughter, so mom, bought her a vibrator, and she can have a fucking vibrator because you know that if it was a son, and if his son came to him at 14 years old and was like, yo, I just had sex, he would be, be like, yeah, like high-fiving him and shit. Like, come on. No, uh-uh. I'm not, I'm not for this misogynistic double standard bullshit. She can have a vibrator. Anyone can have a vibrator. Enjoy it. It's fun. Uh, I don't, I, <laughs> I think like, because, um, I mean, I'm coming from a single mind, but I'm thinking if, if I was in this situation, if I was married to somebody, I would want to be in on that decision. Even though she came to just you, like, let's talk about this and make sure we're doing the right thing or if we should, introduce that to her at a later time but i'm i'm i feel i feel like where you're coming from chloe makes 100 percent like it makes sense i can't talk right now 100 percent sense <laughs> but um I, this is okay so like i i love i love the fact that your daughter came to you and you're okay mm -hmm. with introducing uh self-love to her but my whole thing was, did you have to go straight to a vibrator? Like my man, like, can she figure out, like, remember the hands? Remember these hand games? Like, yeah, but you I don't, don't want to talk to her about what to do with those hands. You just give her a vibrator and let her figure right. it out. Right, like, okay, but listen, to, to me, I feel like a lot, to, listen, to me, I feel like a lot of shit I could have circumvent if I would have known about my hands. Like I was using 
the couch, the rug, like pillows. Like if somebody the couch. Oh, I mean, oh, you know, back like that the up. End of the the couch. Couch. <laughs> you know what I mean? The arm of the couch. The I don't on. know what you mean because I had a vibrator, Adrian. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. So you was out here tweeny bop, like a teeny bopper with a vibrator. I had a vibrator, well, not when I was 14, but I had a vibrator when I was 18. All right, that's different. Like, okay, yeah. like I was saying, remove it, but your... I still did not no. use the couch. Okay, uh, okay, you're you're focusing on these the, on the weeds, okay? I'm here with you, okay? The the whole the whole point of the whole point of me saying that is, you should like yes, as a mother, maybe you should definitely tell your your husband like yo you know, our daughter's talking about this. I'm going to discuss this with her, but don't just go, just don't throw the, the vibrator right up. Like, girl, let me show you what you got. And, and so <laughs> roll out the whole ensemble of like toys. No. Tell her, ensemble tell her, of toys. You made it sound like she just had it chilling in her coat pocket, like whipping it out. Like, <laughs> what ensemble well, of toys? Right for that, like I, I, yeah, that's a little much. It's like she asked about masturbation. Like you could. She didn't done. ask about toys. Like how like, can I fuck myself, man? She didn't. She didn't say any of that. Okay, okay. okay. Adrian, role play. If I come to you and I'm like, hey, I don't know about masturbation. Help me. What would be your I, little lesson? I would have been like, boo. Thank you for coming up to me and 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 being honest and let's share, let's talk about this. Let's let's actually mm -hmm. have a conversation about self-love. Cause self-love is real and people don't want to admit uh that you need to I don't want to self-love. Love. I want to learn about masturbation. So how do I, I masturbate? Do I will well we also I'm I'm a i I'm a root cause and effect. Like this is that's the type of person I am. I like to talk about, yo, I right, so you want to touch yourself? That's what you want to do? You want to stimulate your body? Huh? Well, let me show you how to stimulate your body for free. Okay? And for it's called free? these. Yeah, versus cuz I I'm not going to pay for no vibrator. You going to get a job. <laughs> that okay. Not on, not on my watch. Okay. <laughs> That you know what I, 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 I pay for I pay for my toys, okay, and you gonna pay for yours. Okay, that, that's great. I would just bypass conversation, like I would just get the vibrator and then figure out how to talk about everything else later. You know what I mean? Because like everyone kind of deserves to just kind of like experiment like by themselves before like trying to like tell. I don't know. I would just be like, here's a vibrator. Experiment. We'll talk nah, about it later. You can experiment. Listen. I can I can be a parent and be like, yo, this is about the time you start feeling you start feeling feelings and stuff like that. If you want to talk about it, that's cool. If you don't, whatever have you. But what I'm but I will show you are these links XYZ of how to of, of what stimulation is to your clitoris. Okay. Okay. Clitoris. To the right. clitoris. 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 Right. All clitoris. that. Yeah. Well, okay. It sounds like if we were going to have kids, we'd be great mothers. I think that's what I'm hearing. So, I mean, facts. Uh, that's what it yeah. sounds like to me. Now, I know you guys saw a uh, row just uh, oh, freeze yeah. up into the matrix. She'll be back <laughs> in, in our next segment. But, man, that's a good question. Like, I, I definitely want to. Um, Definitely want to hear more about that. Um, so mm -hmm. if you guys have any comments about what we said, if you have better advice, if you think you have better advice, please throw, mm -hmm. throw them up on the comments and we'll definitely read them out. Um, and if you liked any of our advice, please let us know which one you thought was better or which one you thought was worse. Because we'll, we'll be honest enough to be like, I right, we heard what you said. We'll admit fault, blah, 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 woody woo. Woody you know woo. Woody woo. I also realized something too with this what? gift because the husband was li livid. <laughs> this is literally something that her dad like can't take away. Like that'd be disgusting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, my parents are just like, I want to take that toy away from you, but like this is he he can be mad all he wants, but the the deed's done and she's yeah. she's got a vibe. Like, so, so wait, wait, wait. So he she's gonna be like 
That's why I'm gonna take I'm gonna take your toy. Uh, you gonna take my toy? Uh, take my toy, Daddy. I be touching myself. Uh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So she's got it. So he can be mad all he wants, but good on you, mom. Good on you. Facts. Oh, well, that's been it. Questions with the Queens. Thank you so much, Chloe. Thank you so much, bro. She'll be back in these streets. Let's bring you back. Hey. Gotta get a refill on this drink. Hey. So uh, you're not paying for your daughter to flick the bean? Is that what I'm understanding? You're not paying for the toys? I'm not paying for nothing. 14? Oh, so you can, you're old enough to get a, jo- a job permit. So, you can- <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I saved up my money so I can buy a vibrator. Let's go to the toy store. Well, let's let's go learn about toys, okay? That's, I can see a mother daughter toy date. That would be hilarious. Like, back in my day, little young daughter of mine, I used to use the couch cushions and the arms on the chairs. Uh, so we we going we gonna to bring that back? Uh, now you have these newfangled toys. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's what we're doing. Okay. Roy was, uh, Roy was legit in like uh, mid talk. She was about to hit y'all with some facts and just. She was about to hit us with some knowledge. And the, the universe was like, not on my watch. Matrix was like, no, no, no. <laughs> Free. Is on the intranet. Thanks. While we are uh, waiting for some people to pop back on up in here, um, let's roll into uh, one of our next segments called Triggered. Hey. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. You want to go first with the trigger or you want me to kick it off? Oh, yeah. I'll definitely go first with the trigger because okay. I kind of want to keep, I want to keep with the holiday. We're in the holiday season, right? The holidays are here. Yeah. The holidays stuff. are here. Thank Thanksgiving just passed not too long ago. Hey, way and, too much. And and I, you know, I, um, I before I before I left Costa Rica, I I went to um, visit my mom. Right, I went to go visit my mom, socially distanced with my mama, and we be uh, safe. right, and we we had, we ate some food. Right, she was and and she commented and was like, "That's all you gonna eat?" And she put she threw some more food on my. My plate. So what was the, is that all you're going to eat? What was initially on your plate? That's the, let's talk about that. We're like there. I, I'm a very, I'm, I'm very focused and mindful on portion control. So okay. I had a nice little small portion of, I had a salad. I had a, a nice portion of like a couple scrimps. There's some scrimps. scrimps. Okay. Some like scrimps. scrimps. Right, right, right. And then. And then I had a nice little plethora of veggies and a little bit of, I'm talking about a little bit of rice. Okay. 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 I'm, not, I'm not trying to get real starchy with it. Yeah. You know yeah. Yeah. I, mean? yeah, yeah. Well, I feel it. Right. I feel it. I'm not trying to get real starchy. Pretty healthy plate so far. Right. So I'm eating my food. They get them. I'm good to go. I'm, I'm talking about just taking my time, eating my, chewing my, all my food. You Make know. sure you digest it properly. Right. No. Exactly. Here my mother comes. Is that all? Is that all you gonna eat? And Give me that threw, plate. Right, and then threw more food on my plate. First off, yo, now that it's the holiday season and people are gonna, they're they're not gonna they're not gonna respect the socially distanced mm-hmm. stay at home thing. People are gonna be with they gonna family. be here for a while. It's right, gonna be people, here. people people gonna be with their family, eating all that food, eating all the hog mugs, the greens. The the greens, the chicken, the beans, the all that, collard greens, all that stuff. <laughs> Listen, if somebody said, if somebody take and and makes their plate, and it might not be to what you think they should be eating, don't res- don't disrespect them and throw more food in their plate. Like I, I yeah, no, nah, to- that's that's some, yeah, no, nah, I, I would be a little upset with that too. You know, like like I got enough. Like I, I don't want any more. And then they they gonna probably be mad at you if you don't even eat all the stuff. Facts. I'm tired. I'm tired of people acting like soul food is is. Is is amazing. Soul food is out here killing us. That's what's killing. It that's is amazing, us. nigga. It's amazing. Wait, 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 wait. It's wait. It's amazing to an extent, but it's that's not, true. It's it's not amazing where I'm about to die over it. Yeah, it's, it's in moderation. I, I ain't about to be eating soul food every day. I'd be like, man, I'm tired of this shit. My, yeah, it's definitely moderation. My my whole thing is, and everybody always bring this up, and I'm going to continue to bring this up. The movie Soul Food. 
Big Mama yeah. lost yeah. her leg mm-hmm. and then eventually died, died. <laughs> yeah. from, from the, the food, yep. from the shit that they that that, that that she been cooking and what they do at the funeral. Have what, more soul food. What, what do they do? What they do on on Sunday to commemorate <laughs> uh, Big Mama? We need to have another big ass plate of soul food. Man, you get that bullshit up out of here, man. Sit I'm not going. Them. I'm not going. Like so, don't expect me. Don't expect me to be. Don't, don't expect my that plate like, to look over filled with multiple dishes because that ain't happened. I'm sorry. That I'm is like the funniest it. shit ever. Like. Like niggas, we really have found a way to make vegetables like collard greens like unhealthy as fuck. Like it's a vegetable, but niggas have found put bacon, uh, ham, ham hot, all that. Just all that. We just we gonna make the vegetables. We need to season these vegetables with a pound of lard. We gonna take all the nutrition out of the vegetables. That's what that's what we do. I'm not going. That's what we do. That's a good one though. That's because you know black folks. We love to. You ain't eating no more. What's going? You know we got cakes, we got pies, we got everything, and we will shove some food on you. And you can't say no because if you say no, you are gonna get a whooping. Like, Man, that's just, I've been saying no. You can, you can. Excuse me. I, I've been saying no thanks to soul food since I was uh, since I was able to feed myself. Okay, because because <laughs> uh, you know, so you know listen. You ain't the shit ones. I'm I'm sorry, but I don't want I I don't want to lose my leg, my arm, my foot. I'm good. It's okay. only like a it's definitely a moderation thing for me. If it's not a holiday, every once in a while, it's like yeah, I want to just have some dressing. Okay, but I ain't I ain't one of these niggas that's like I gotta go to the soul food spot. Like it's some old head niggas that go to the soul food spot every goddamn day. For every holiday though, it's like How about just one holiday. Just one yeah. holiday. I, you know, I'm, I think I'm gonna switch it up. Like instead of doing all that, you know, traditional Christmas shit, I'm about to do like some oxtails or some shit. Let me switch it up. Have some not so heavy ass shit. You know, but that's what I'm triggered about, man. I can't, I can't deal with, I can't deal with it anymore. Stop that's a good asking one. me. Stop that's asking me. One. Stop asking me if that's all I'm gonna eat. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good trigger. That's a good one. Keeping in uh, in line with your food theme for your trigger, uh, my okay. trigger is similar to the same thing with food. Okay. Uh, excuse me, this crown got me burping. Um, same. <laughs> shit. Of course, they play um, folk got me out here. I, 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 feeling lit. You about to hit the the, the Costa Rican bar afterwards. <laughs> we have been there, but uh, my trigger is with uh, with DoorDash, Grubhub. Oh. Okay. Any of these other delivery agencies of uh, delicacies, my order is always fucking wrong. I have, I think I, every time I order from DoorDash, I get a credit of some sort because it is always wrong. I enter the shit in correctly. I'll be like, no, no tomatoes. I have tomatoes. I'll be like, I need 35 sauce packets. I'll get like two. You know, they, it's always something. Yeah, 35? And y'all like sauce. You know, you got to have sauce in your reserve drawer, too, you know, okay. so it's just like, you know. But it'll, it'll just be shit like, why is my shit always fucked up? Or it'll be cold. And I'll just be like, this was supposed to be convenient. I don't mind paying an extra five bucks or ten dollars, but not when my shit is fucked up. Not when it's right. I'm not, not going to lie. Know. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if they decide to to sponsor us, you know, we're gonna take them for what it's worth and and take them. Oh yeah, I'll them. take all the bad the bad deals if if there's a sponsorship here. We Hopefully, can work on that. Yeah, but I will say DoorDash. I, I I feel like all my orders are correct, but my partner, for some reason, they do not like this nigga. Okay. They don't. But they give me a credit though. They're real nice. So I take them credits. I'd be like, and they gotta be this is somebody that's watching the accounts like this nigga gets a credit every goddamn order. But if like, your order's not there, you gotta credit me up. Beam me up, Scotty. I want a credit. And but but you know, I, I get a credit for like the dumbest shit. I'll be like, man, you know, this was I ain't got no sauce. Exactly. The dumbest shit. You let the mayonnaise off. I'm out. I, I need a credit. Full credit for my meal. Like, I, that is me. I am that dude. I'd be like, look, you was two minutes late. Credit. I wonder, I wonder if they can tell like what type of person, like size-wise, by your orders. 
Um, I have ordered some fat shit. Like I have been like really high and ordered some shit, and I was like, "Ooh, this looks good." Because you know, some of their menus they don't have they have shit that they don't have like at the actual location. You'd be like, "What the fuck?" Like y'all niggas is hiding stuff. So yeah, I'm sure they like that unlock mystery yeah. level. Yeah. Or I wonder if they like this nigga done ordered Grubhub like five times this week. Like this nigga either can't cook. He got endless money, or he just hopeless. Like, like you know, it's someone monitoring the account. Like, okay, like he keeps ordering from the Thai place. This nigga clearly likes Thai, you know, so shit. But I, I just I hate when my order is wrong, and it's just like, bruh, like can y'all not get this? Can y'all not read what's going on in the app? Like, I just don't get it. I ask my wings to be fried hard. They ain't fried hard. They not fried hard. But you still gonna eat it though. It, of course, of course. You know, it's wings. We ain't turning down no wings. We ain't uh, turning down no wings. No, I feel you. Like my my whole thing is the certain things you can't you can't control or get upset about because what you gonna do? Take back your food? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. So I mean, I don't I don't get upset to the point where I can't eat. I just be like, yeah, give, give me that credit. Give me that good ten bucks so I can get ten dollars off the next order. And when that one's wrong, we get another ten dollars off. You know, like just just you know just get all my shit free. Just give me all my stuff for free. Man, I'm, I'm going to get a credit anyways. You're going to mess with I'm going to get a credit anyways. They're going to they gonna give it to you, so why not? Shit. But shoot. <laughs> I think that, that that will conclude my trigger because I'm hey. feeling litty off hey. of this crown. I know you lit over there off of that Quavo. Off so of that Quavo. Keep it rolling. This going to be the singing episode. We're going to sing with the opening. We that's because that's segment. because you know why. That's because freaking uh freaking Chloe out here, she she crying about this that we not like Disney musicals. musicals and shit. That's what you it know, is. Like, see, I'm a, I'm gonna say this one one thing. I rock with Disney in 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 that in their songs and their music, but when it comes to musicals, throw it all in the trash. Okay, mm-hmm. but that's all I gotta say. I agree. Some, some of the musicals are bullshit. And I don't want to be like, I hate this. I, there's some Disney movies that I love. I rock with a life, not life, uh, up. I'm thinking life. Like, that's not a Disney this movie. Nigga say life, life. I did. That's what you <laughs> it's, it's the crown. It's the crown. Um, up was a good movie. I, I ought to pick Bugs Life. I love a Bugs that's Life. They have some man, gems. It's Pixar. I you know, it was Pixar. And uh, what's that one movie? Uh, what's the movie. Jamaicans? Uh, the bobsled team niggas. Uh, what's that? Cool Runnings. Them niggas. That was a good Disney movie. Like yeah, that was. You know, Jamaicans hate that movie. Oh, they you know do. Right. Uh, oh, I have a Jamaican homie from high from college. I used to always roast her about that. She's like, "Tell me what you see. Tell me." And that's <laughs> a nigga, you could have starred in that movie. The I way that, how well. terrible their fucking accents were. Man, that shit was Jamaican bobsled. You know, some people say they know they can't believe Jamaica. <laughs> we got the bobsled deep. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's the Wanderers and the two junior, the fathers of the fathers of Jamaica splinters. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Go to the Olympics for Jamaica. <laughs> I hate you for knowing this shit. Look, if one thing you, you guys don't know about, but some of y'all know, anything random when it comes to movies, anything with just random ass shit from TV shows, I know that shit. Like, I can quote that shit and just be like, like I just did, Jamaica Bobsled Team. Get some fucking. I, I, respect, I respect a good reference. And that was a good reference right there. Tallulah. <laughs> you know, we got to- <laughs> Wow. Oh, shit. But, yo, the crown is talking. Let's keep this shit moving. We're about to bring well, the rest of the game back in here for the final segment of the show. Y'all know what time it is. Get them blunts ready. Get those eddies ready. We're about to bring everybody in for nothing blunt facts. Yeah. If you are a weed company and you would like to sponsor these five Negroes, please, please, please sponsor the show. <laughs> As we will pitch and pub your product as we get high, as Marcus hits us with these facts. Marcus, go ahead and bring us into it. How are we doing tonight, bro? Sure, let's get it. So we're bringing back. Okay, so here's how it's going down. We're going to bring oh, wait, back. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold, hold on, on. Hold on. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. What up? Who won? Who won? Oh, no, no. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get okay. to that. Okay. So. 
This week, we're nothing blunt facts. We're bringing back Team Light Skin versus Team Dark Skin. What up, bro? Yeah. Team Dark Skin is 1 and 0, while Team Light Skin is unfortunately 0 and 1. This week, we're mixing it up. We're going to do it differently. We're going to do five questions. All five of them are based on who, like, okay, let me center myself. We're going to do five questions. Best drink. five, first yeah, he three wins. <laughs> Best of five. So it might not be five questions. Some, one, one team might sweep, go 3-0, and oh, and the game we will be over. Oh, let me nigga, not we talk know how to shit. count, nigga. We know how to let count. Let me not talk shit. Word, I'm, I'm just, just, I'm just making sure because maybe all our fans don't know. I'm just making it as clear as possible for everybody. Yeah, make right? it clear because I'm high. <laughs> we appreciate <laughs> the rules because there's niggas out here that might be high just like us. So thank you for the rundown okay. of the rules, brother. The other component is that every question will be formed similar to the Twinkie question, which means that whoever gets the closest answer. Oh, numbers, the nigga? Point. Ain't no true or false? It's, right. it's, it's still facts, you know? I mean, I'm the one who knows the facts, but it's still facts. You feel me? These are. This is because Marcus don't smoke. Marcus want to make this shit the hardest exactly. possible shit ever. I like trolling. I like don't trolling. Get high. I like trolling you smokers. Because he don't get high. I want every person out here that smokes, takes an edible, you drink, whatever you do, I want you to fucking tweet at Marcus. I got my Marcus water. Manks. I want you to hit this nigga up. Tell how much of a lame he is for I'm not a, smoking. I say hydrated. I say I, I like to be healthy out here. Why mm. oh. mm. This nigga shaming us for it. All, All right. right. You Chloe high as fuck, by the way. Look at Chloe down here in the corner of this show. She barely keep her goddamn eyes oh, open. Oh, man. Chloe like, is good. Look at my Chloe eyes. Look at <laughs> my fucking eyes when I smile. Or... Don't try to at me like that. She, she got, this is a combination of like hungry eyes and sleepy eyes all in one. <laughs> Chloe, you got you know my eyes, okay? <laughs> Chloe got... Hungry. Hungry. I was I'm waiting for you to join. I was waiting. I was I'm waiting. Not, I'm not trying to talk shit, okay? Because because I already learned my lesson last time and watching Nate Robinson get knocked out. Adrian and I will not be talking shit because we have come Listen. to play and we are going to win. I'm about to get smacked. So I'm about to be two and at this bitch. Are we ready for the first question? Yeah. We are ready, good sir. Word. The first question which will be texted to me by one member of each team. The first question, the answer that, it, that is, the first question is, how many years were there between dinosaurs and human beings on Earth? A lot. The fuck? I, I, I need a number. How many years in between, between dinosaurs and what? Between when dinosaurs were gone and human beings showed up. Now, 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 yeah, here's what you're talking about like Neanderthals. Like, you got to be specific. Like, you talk about Homo sapiens, or we talk about Neanderthals. What we talk about right. here? That's a good question, um, Chloe, and I appreciate it. The more Homo sapiens. What are we talking about? Like the most advanced form of humans. The yes. most advanced form. Okay. So, niggas, niggas. Hobie and sapiens. Black people. Hobie and sapiens. Black people. Black people. Black people. Black people. That's what I. That's what I should have said. I should. It should have been. It should have been. How many years between dinosaurs and niggas? How many years between dinosaurs and black people? I would have rather took that one than Homo sapiens. But Homo we don't. We don't have that answer. So we're gonna go with the first one. Hey. Talking about twerking niggas or right niggas in Egypt? What kind of niggas we talking about? Uh, uh, I'm about to text you, bro, right now. Or I'm gonna hit you in the group me so we can kind of figure out this answer. So, damn, we gotta put like a thousand years or some shit. What the fuck? Chloe, I'm gonna be honest with you. Whatever re- answer you got, I'm I'm flowing. I'm rolling with you. Yeah, I remember the coldest win. Just bro. go for it, you know. Damn, you ain't got you 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 ain't got nothing. Come on, Clay. I know you're hurt, but come on, man. Oh wow. <laughs> Listen, my Achilles right now is just out for the count. You just so, injured it in a pickup game. Man. Literally. I thought my knee, uh, I thought right. my knee was good, but my Achilles carry- let me out. We about to be 0-2. Look, I mean, trying to carry Listen, this team You can be Kobe, okay? And not pass it to me, okay? So just take it. 
But Kobe got five rings, and if it means I ain't got pass it to you to get five wings, Ooh. then what's what you did there? But, yeah, I, I see. I, she talking real spicy wow. out here. Wow. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Hold, hold that. Hold that down. Let me. Uh, do do we have real, internal? Do we have internal drama with Team Lightskin? Let me, no, let me no, get, light skins be, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me, get my, let me get, let me get my shack on right now. <laughs> Can you dig it? Oh, she about to get no, her no, shack no. on and go to Team Dark Skin because that's <laughs> the I shack on. Nah, hey, 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 hey Boogie, you, you gotta hit her with the greatest uh, shack Kobe does ever. Kobe, how my ass tastes. Tell me how <laughs> that ass tastes. <laughs> All right, you're right. You're right. Let I need a. Damn. Let me stick to the light skin. I know. I'm about to text it to you. I, I feel like this is a this is a trick, Marcus. We got ours question. in. Roast in our like... right now. <laughs> Kobe, how my ass taste. <laughs> All right, I'm wrong. The fact that that nigga I'm said wrong. that in a rap though, that was like some shit. Like, <laughs> nigga, where were you going with that? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! These answers. How do you are how do you confidently say that in a studio booth? I got one. That's Hold what I'm on. saying. No, nah, like, but this nigga was freestyling. It wasn't in a. It wasn't like in. It wasn't a recorded song. This nigga was like in the club, just freestyling about Kobe, and that like, like that the organically first came up in my mind. Like, oh, I know what a good this how is. My ass taste. How my ass taste. <laughs> You know the nigga that was in the club, like, yo, that's fire, that's bro. A banger. He told that nigga Kobe how his ass tastes. <laughs> oh, yeah. At least he's not saying he's not talking about somebody's wife tasting like Honey Nut Cheerios. Oof. Yo, man, that was look. That's some. And KG is a king shit talker. King Melo shit. was waiting for that nigga at, outside the locker rooms after that. Like that's some. For we what? Fight. Like, Pat? Carmelo wasn't going to fight. You think yeah, he was right. not a fighter? What, what, we know Nicky wasn't going to box. KG would have tore that ass up. But we oh, got yeah. some man easily. KG got some man literally answer. hits his head against the fucking like <laughs> what you know like the, the the pole that holds the rim. Like he would hit his head against. No, that. crazy. Every, we I got mean, granted there's foam, but still, he would hit his gonna, head against. Gonna, that. We're gonna announce some answers right quick. Okay. That's what the All right. is, bro. So the question was, how many years were there between human beings and dinosaurs? Up. Team Darkskin came in, came in with 356. <laughs> Would you guys like to add anything specific to 356 or is your final yeah. answer 356? I think that's... I think years. Okay, so 356 years between yeah. human beings and dinosaurs. I yeah. we, were. we got that. Team White Skin. Okay with it. Team White Skin came in with let's see here. 30 billion years. 30 billion years. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Between, you are, uh, between human beings and dinosaurs. So this is one more time. The question is. How many years this bitch put 30 were there between oh, humans and dinosaurs on Earth? Team Darkin said 356 years. And Light Skin said 30 billion. 30 billion. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is, is 65 million, which means somehow, some way, Team Darkin. I meant million, and I meant million. She said billion, though. I have, I have, I have, I have, I have billion. <laughs> she said billion. billion. Adrian over million. like, and guess what? Billion. Fun fact it's just one letter off, so don't at me. I meant million. <laughs> Adrian was like, This Adrian, you can't keep what? asking the ball to me. You saw what happened. The documented the answer is billion. You can't just leave me hanging out That's here. That's one point for the dark skins. Can I just say that my answer, I I was thinking like, well, how would the bones have survived that one? <laughs> <laughs> um, I knew it was like a long fucking time. I just, I meant million. I meant million. Which Man. is why I asked if it was Neanderthals or Homo sapiens. You know that, that um, if this was like Family Feud, Adrian would have been like, "God damn, we lost this." <laughs> <laughs> this Yo, Adrian over there contemplating life and shit. 
Hey, look, maybe someone else is sending the answer for Team Wise. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe go. Strategize. Figure it out. You can't just be passing it to me. I need What's the next one, bro? Word. We got another question. Question number two. We only got to get two more, Ro. Let's How many countries are North Korea and Finland separated by? How many countries? You know we ain't good at geography. Are North- and that's why this is hilarious. Yeah, that's what makes it fun for me as a host. I'm trying to figure out. I don't even know how over here. Look, motherfuckers guess, and then maybe you're completely wrong, and then I'll well, give I can tell you it ain't 35 know. billion. Well, separated by now, here's the thing. Which way are you going? North, south, east, or west? Now, come, like, because, like, isn't... Like, Between. I mean, it, I mean you're, you're thinking about it too much. Yes, yeah, it's between. It's how many, there's North Korea, there's other countries, and then you go to Finland. Up, like North Korea. I guess I'm thinking if you, I guess I'm thinking, if, okay. I guess I'm thinking <laughs> if you go towards the water, like if you go up and around, it would be fewer countries. I'm talking Just about. Just say 30 billion what? so we can win talk again. About, talk, I feel like Adrian is still thinking about the last question. Yeah, <laughs> just say, go ahead and say 35 billion so we can win again. Yo, um, it depends on the route you're taking. What am I supposed to Google Maps this shit? No, no can't be. Not. <laughs> Man, Adrian, I'm gonna give it to you. All right, because that ain't the one we ain't doing. That. 35 what billion, go ahead and roll with that 35 billion, y'all. You said how many countries? I right. have to go through. It depends on the route. This question is jacked. We already got our answer in. Got it. Why does he look like he's doing research? Did you put it in, Adrian? Would you? I, I put it in. I put okay. it in. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you what I put. You, you put it in, Nate. Yeah, I put it in already. I sent it to him. Okay. It ain't thirty five billion. Yeah, that was, that's I a. I meant million. Yeah, Dial yeah that's not what you nah, said. You, you put a B. You know what you put. Oh, I did put hey. a B. Right? We got the answer. We got an answer. We got answers, multiple answers. So the question was, how many countries are North Korea and Finland separated by? Well, Team Dark Skin. Team Dark Skin came in with, let's see here, twelve countries. It's respectable. It's a respectable answer. Team Light Skin okay. came in with three countries. All right. The answer. Seven. Is one country. Team Ooh! Life Stand gets the point. Is one to one. Hey, baby. That's all right, bro. You know, we, we let them. All we right. Come in, man. Splash sisters <laughs> are back. We all right. Feel like they doing question something. Question number three. Pivotal question number three. Right. Whoever gets this gets the two one lead, and it's one question away from winning. Let's get it. How much of our DNA? Do we share with bananas? This nigga. That's how I, I love that you said that's how I know what I'm doing is right. <laughs> is that <neat? laughs> that's how I know my work is. I is, thought is he was accurate. gonna say, Do we share with like monkeys or something? This nigga said I know that's, that's, that, that's what I assumed you would think. And I twisted it by saying bananas, and I got you to emotionally and genuinely say this nigga, and that's exactly. Are we looking for a percentage? What 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 what, what kind of form are we looking for? Thank you for asking that. Percent. Percentage. Okay. I'm about, I'm, I'm doing I know I'm doing. Like it's got to be a, a pretty high amount because you know gorillas and monkeys they like bananas. You know I feel like. And you hey know, man, whatever you need to like inform your answer. Monkeys. Yo, Adrian is like. <laughs> I'm trying she, to think about it. She I'm fell up. It. She like these niggas. I'm on <laughs> the wrong project and podcast. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm fun. <laughs> yeah, this nigga. Marcus be staying up late at night, just deep diving. Like this is a good one. This will stump the niggas. <laughs> this will blow their fucking high. I, I like this one. Re- you just, I, I feel like correct. he be literally laying in bed with no internet, just in the dark, looking at a corner of the, a ceiling. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is it. This going to be an accurate yeah. depiction of how yeah. I. This going to fuck on these questions. Up. This gonna fuck up all the high niggas. But you know what's going to happen? Mar- this is going to be a nigga watching this. He gonna or listening to this. He's going to be like. 
Did you know that we share blah 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 with bananas? He gonna drop that shit at the water cooler. It's gonna be some shit. Let's just watch. Ain't no water cooler. It's gonna be the Zoomer cooler. You're right. <laughs> Zoom cooler. You're right. Zoomer cooler. You're right. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. On late night with Nate and Adrian, we are giving you guys great facts that you can use in life. We're teaching y'all something about bananas and humans. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, we got some answers. Bananas. You're about to learn right now. You're about to learn what the answer is. So the question was, bananas. Question was how, how, let me read my shit. How much of our DNA? <laughs> you are. Right, nigga, the nigga that don't smoke is high. <laughs> the question was, why am I kissing my fucking mic thing? How much of our DNA by percentage do we share with bananas? Team White Skin came in with 25%. Respectable. Team Another Dark Skin came in with 32%. Wow. We close. We close. The is answer is, is 60%. <gasps> Team Dark Skin with the win, they're up two to one. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. I, I was about to say banana. What the fuck is going really on here? I, I, Yay, Here's the explanation. Many <laughs> of the housekeeping I don't like it. that are necessary for basic cellular function, such as for replicating DNA, controlling the cell cycle, and helping cells divide, are shared between many plants, including bananas and animals. So that's where it comes from. Was this a white scientist? I don't like it. Yeah, I'm it gonna was. look. You know it was. Why? Yeah. Why? I don't like it. Chinese dark skin niggas. Question these niggas. All right. All right, let's go. Question number four. Team hey, White Skin hey, can hey, tie man. it up. Team Dark Skin can win the motherfucking game. 35 billion. We had a question similar to this earlier, but this component of the question wasn't answered. Okay. It might have been. I might be forgetting, but we'll see this if everyone here remembers. Bananas. The question okay. is N -A -N -A -S. what year was the first year in which cannabis was legalized in Alaska? Alaska. <clears throat> Alaska. What year? Oh boy. What year? Hey man, fuck you, Marcus. Was legalized? Oh, yeah. you you that come up with. Uh, yes. <laughs> this guy. I'm gonna say. I don't know. Damn, this is some. Oh. But, you, but, you, but you're gonna know after, and that's the best part. <laughs> We're learning. This is educational. Is that like We're learning. I know what, what year. Yeah, baby. No, the month. He said the year. The fuck. <laughs> it's uh 300 BC, uh, Nate. That's what it is. <laughs> No, nah, it's thirty billion. Cause oh, yeah, clearly, 30 billion. I mean, y'all the ones that be saying like thirty-five. Look, she Look. really said thirty billion. I did. Wow. I I did that. I meant to say million. You know, it was but three, it was three Earths. Yeah, it was three Earths thirty billion yeah. ago. I know. Yeah, I um, uh, I lost that one for me. Uh, it was it was been three, and I missed it. So right. I'll take that. We all right. We all right. It's all right. I'm gonna just woo side right. out. We'll be we'll be good. <laughs> you so good we got one answer good. from Team White Skin. <laughs> oh, so we gotta put one in. Um yeah, come on, y'all. These you niggas cheating. Yeah, they are. They oh, Google. We, we messaging, we messaging each other. We messaging. We messaging. Don't don't be hating because the dark skins are strategizing now. <laughs> Y'all niggas put 1902. <laughs> I know what they 1855. <laughs> Some shit. Look, it would be an answer like that because this is Marcus's fucking act here. <laughs> All right, Marcus, I'm sending you the answer right now. Do, 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 do. We can go ahead and bring this bring this thing on home. <clears throat> Chloe frozen. She good? Work. No, All I right. was trying to remember when Alaska became a state and maybe if I fucked up. So. All right. 
Yeah, your answer's already locked in. in, man. Like, I told you. 1814. The question is, what year was cannabis legalized for the first time in when the last year? Team Light Skin came in with 1975. Team Dark Skin came in with 2015. Remember, the question was, what year was cannabis legalized for the first time in Alaska? The first time. The answer. I meant to put 1975. Team Light Skin got the win. <laughs> Chloe got it right in the fucking nail. I, to I wish there was a point system to reward getting the answer exactly right, but there isn't one yet. That was the exact answer? 1975 is the answer. It was legalized in 1975, <laughs> and then they like de they, 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 and then they recriminalized it in 1990, and then it came back at in, in the 2010s. I don't know all the facts, but I know Damn. part of the facts. Um, we know, we know nothing. We would have lied anyway because they got the exact answer. So shit. yeah. All right. Here's the thing. Either way, this last question is for all the marbles. However, we want right. to make the points. This last question is for all the marbles. Two, two to two, team dark skin. That's two. Come on, bro. Got got this, two. Bro. Here's we the got final this, question How tall was Martin Luther King Jr.? I mean, that nigga wasn't out here hooping, so shit. <laughs> 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 you ain't never heard a nigga out here like Martin was out there dropping threes on niggas. Ain't, no, ain't nobody was like standing at the podium sitting. <laughs> Five foot eight. <laughs> the nigga that From gave you, you college. Right, the, the nigga that gave you the highest mountaintop. I have a dream. I give you. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga just said the nigga that gave you the highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop. <laughs> he gave you the highest dream possible. <laughs> Introducing Martin <laughs> Luther. Starting point guard. I'm gonna also say I'm gonna I'm gonna counter my partner's uh, guess because uh, the dude did as a civil rights leader. The dude did he was slanging. He, he had in a lot of yeah. He had so to me, to me, the answer that what she that mean? You got to be tall to sling. You gotta be. You gotta be a certain oh, height. Marcus is offended. No, Marcus is asking questions. Hey, Marcus is offended <laughs> with the short joke. Marcus, you yeah, sound like a short yeah. nigga right now. Marcus, like short I'm nigga. curious about her logic. Yeah, that was. I, mean, I was asking. I just want to know. I'm just. I'm Marcus, trying to have, you, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have a dialogue. Right now? You sound like a short like, nigga right now, Marcus. I'm trying to have a dialogue. Okay, uh, a nigga maybe less than six feet tall. I'm willing Marcus, to that. you jumped in immediately. You didn't even. No one breathed. No one blamed I am, but you. I am <laughs> just trying to have a dialogue. You mean short nigga face playing that shit? Logic. He didn't even give Marcus, me a chance Marcus. to get it all the way out. He was right, like, "I got something for you." Yeah. you <laughs> short niggas rock. I apologize for interrupting. I did. I was just curious about where 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 it was going, and I could have waited until I made. <laughs> and he some nigga to hit you with the short niggas can rock your world. I yeah, promise I am you. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, you're supposed to be the host, not the debater. Uh, <laughs> man, yo, I, I just wanted to have yo, a conversation. This nigga. We, know we know yeah, what Marcus's Alan. trigger is. We know what the trigger is, Marcus. Yeah, short. short. I, you know what? I, yeah, Alex Trebek would have uh, never done that. He would have just taken that stride and kept going. So, Look, you man, know, this is all my all I got fourth time hosting. Hey. If you can't all be Trebek right away. I just oh, wanted to cool. have a conversation with my right. well, late night with me and Adrian okay. colleague Adrian. Okay. Well, all I'm saying is MLK, MLK had hoes, and MLK, if he was the height that you uh he probably had a mean finger roll. Think you know, <laughs> think it's appropriate. You know, I'm I, I feel like he, he might be. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't even text the hold on. Wait, I'm gonna say, don't even text the answer. Just say your answer right now. Y'all text each other and say, say your answer right I now. I mean, do, do, do y'all wait? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all gotta make sure y'all okay. agree. Though. Okay, okay, don't even don't even text Marcus. Show and once y'all got y'all answer between each other, say your answer and we'll say ours. Let's just, right. let's just do that. Okay, are we, right. we good? We got ours, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, but I do, but I. I do want to. Okay, okay, go. You wait. Do do you not think? Because we can go back. I, 
Because I think it's either or, but if yeah. you, do you feel strongly about that particular only well, Only because I feel like I remember when they were casting for the movie Selma that yeah. like height was like a big thing. They were like, give me a Marcus, right? Yeah, you know, right. yeah. They were like, <laughs> yeah, they were like we and they didn't pass me. Size, they didn't pass me. I, you you got to be six feet. You know what? I mean, I'm just trying to, it's okay. I'm I don't want to give away the answer like with my with my insecurity. I'm just trying to be out Wait, here, thrive no, as a five nine six feet. Yo, yo, you just like Ali oop that like, shit out the air. Just it's okay. Bang that bitch. It's okay. I, I'm man enough to take that. It's okay. Even though I'm only five nine, I'm man enough to take that. It's okay. Nigga, you ain't 5'9". I sort of got him. You're not 5'9". Five nine, oh, five nine. Nigga, my dad, uncle, I'm 5'9". Five five nine. You're not 5'9", five nine, bro. On my <laughs> dead uncle, I'm 5'9". On my dead cousin, I'm 5'9". But he's oh, already You're not 5'9". That's not even the wager. You don't wager a dead uncle. Bro, we're like 69 inches height, bro. 69 inches. I'm 69 inches tall. You're the same height, bro. 5'9". I'm 5'9". I've been 5'9 since I was in college. No, no, five, what the fuck is this? What is this no. turning into? I apologize for my projection. No. Okay, I'm I'm I acknowledge I'm not how I came no. off before. No, I'm giving y'all niggas some answers. Fuck all this. Marcus, shit. Five, 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 nine men don't react in the way that you reacted. But I did, you. and sometimes maybe I'm five nine and insecure. <laughs> niggas are complex. You don't, don't just like, don't like. Just like put us in a box as if all we five nine men Marcus, we love say, you no matter your height. We have triggered the and that's okay. <laughs> Listen, and that's Marcus, okay. I apologize. Look, I don't am. don't apologize. Don't apologize. This man don't, is triggered. You have nothing to apologize for. We got an answer from Team Dark Skin. Marcus. Oh, uh, we're having fun. Hey, Adrian, did you see what I texted? Oh, we're yelling around. Okay. I'm going to yell my no, 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 no. out. Yeah, yeah, we're yelling them out. We're yelling them out. We're yelling them out. Why? That's no, because if you yell it out, no. then they're going to the, think we changed our one. name or changed our answer based off of what we uh, said. Yeah. Okay, never mind, man. That's cool. That's cool. No, just send it to me. Send it to me, and I'll know what your answer is. So I'll know if you're yeah. telling the truth or not. Yeah, good point. All yeah. right. I would oh, like man. to acknowledge Ooh. that I may have come off a little abrasive <laughs> regarding the height issue. <laughs> and I would like to acknowledge my shortcomings. And apologize for all coming. The coming. That I wow, have, you really that set I yourself have. up for that. Did you do that on purpose? And you know what's crazy? I'm gonna say yes. Um, you know what's crazy? Yeah. Is Marcus is sober, so this is how he really feels. He feels sober. I, I, I'm I I am here trying to enjoy the company of my fellow colleagues, and if I felt as if you are out there watching or listening to this. <laughs> If you ever have any type of engagement with Marcus, don't ever talk about his no, height. height. Feel don't free to talk. I'm willing. Talk I'm willing. I'm willing to have an open dialogue and discussion about my height. Don't and ever have nothing to be ashamed of. Jokes. I, I, will say, just, I will say this. I will say this. If you ever come in contact with Marcus, get his man a hug. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you, Adrian. <laughs> You know, like yeah, with, the mask, with, with the mask, like, with the mask, like give him a hug, give him an air, give him air hug. I appreciate that. Yeah, just a, uh, be like, hey man, I'm sorry, you you not as tall as you think you are. Um, but <laughs> also, but, but I am though. But thank you for that. Thank you for that request, but, Adrian. Adrian, let me ask you this question because you know you're what? What, what are you? Six? I'm five eleven and three quarters. <laughs> five okay. eleven and three quarters. So, as a person that is She's, like five eleven yeah, and three quarters. Uh, how would you hug a person of Marcus's stature? How how does that without making him feel bad? How how do you does it do you like I don't you meet him halfway? Does he okay. have to like get on his tippy toes? How does you just give him a pat pat on the back? How does that I mean, work? Nah, you just pat that shit on the you back. Know, I was just curious about the logic behind you know what we got answers. We got answers. No, but like being curious about the logic is different than attacking somebody about. A and here's the thing: if and I acknowledge and, and validate Marcus. that you felt attacked, and I apologize for that. But Marcus, that's just my energy. I just I'm an energetic ass nigga sometimes. But I anyway, we got answers. 70, I got a know, question. Of your yeah, I want to know how. I want to know how tall. Uh, 
Women. Hold that thought, Marcus. I had a question oh, for you. Like, okay. let's hear it. When you go on dates, do women like pick you up and put you on their laps, or how does how does that are they? How does that I work? Wish. Taller than you? I wish. I would love that. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Are you like their ventriloquist? Like, how does no? That mean, res- does no respect. Mean? Respect to Marcus because no, he I'm is, joking. I'm joking. He is five nine. As much as I'm, I'm Marcus I'm, is not I'm, five nine. I swear to God, I'm five nine. He, nigga, I'm God. telling you. Wait, I'm wait, no. Marcus, Marcus is five nine with Timberlands. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there, we go. there we go. There All we right. go. Marcus, like is, you're more that. like five seven. You're five seven and a half. I will not be gaslit in the being sort of. Because he almost got me believing that shit. I'm five nine. Here's the thing. Right. We oh. have we have an answer. All right, let's get it. We have let's multiple answers. answers, and they're different from one another. Ooh. All right, short man, give us the which answer. Means, which Shorty. means we have a. Let me let me do let me do my dope ass setup. I'm trying to like make it. Let, let him get it. Okay. Let him get I'm it. Start over. Set it up short. Because niggas want to talk and interrupt me. Niggas who think they're taller than me want to interrupt niggas that are short and be they tall and they be taller than me. Anyways, I'm taller. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. Shut up. We man. have multiple <laughs> answers, and they're both different answers. Okay. Meaning we have a winner. Ooh. I'm excited. Okay. So now who that winner is. So Back. the question it's was, nice game, baby. how tall is Martin Luther King Jr.? You got to say Martin Luther the King. The King the Jr. Thank you. Team Dark Skin came in with 5'8". Wow. Team Light Skin came in with 5'6". What? Wow. Martin Luther King. Oh. Was five foot seven. Team oh. Light Skin wins. Oh. Oh. That's Three to two. The comeback what victory. Say? What did I say? You don't talk shit and you fucking win. That hey. could go either way. If it's if they're uh, in the, what, wait, what was the answer? What they say? Uh, Five, okay. six, and a half, and guess yeah. what? We almost said five sevens, though. Ba-bam. We almost said five seven two, Yeah, we have five eight. We're really almost, right there. Almost, almost. Nah. Team life skin one. And, and if we if we're keeping it a buck, Chloe meant to say million. So they really <laughs> won four to one. If we're keeping it a buck. If, <laughs> if, we're, keeping keeping it, if, we're, keep, if we're keeping it a buck, technically, y'all went over. So y'all yeah. passed. Mm-hmm. This is logic. This is li- mm-hmm. this is fair logic. Mm-hmm. This is fair logic. Mm-hmm. Either mm-hmm. way, I am a gracious loser. You know, we are tied one to one in these mm-hmm. arcs mm-hmm. of the life. Us five mm-hmm. nine men know when to like, you know, when to like, you know, accept our losses. Grace, us five nine men, we got it together. Anyway, You're five, seven, Marcus, you are the same height <laughs> as Martin Luther the King. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. That nigga is MLK. That's all. I'm cool with that. That five seven is a swing of hope. AB, right? I'm really proud right? of us. Right? 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 Well, we're MLK, what, what was MLK doing? Us. What was yeah. MLK doing? He was. He was. He was what? What was MLK he was doing? Getting hoes. Yes. He was getting he hoes. Right. At what height? Well, and how tall is he? How, how tall? How tall? Five foot seven. I mean, as a woman, I have to support my other women. So good job, guys. You did great. Thank you. Bro. Thank, Thank you. you. They did great. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are dope, but this has been another fun installment of Nothing Blunt Facts. We appreciate y'all. Team Light Skin won that one. We'll get them on up out of here. Hey, Chloe. Chloe has one win. Dark Skin has one win. One to one in the series. Proud of you. We coming back for the victory next week. We did it. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. Y'all did it. Y'all did it. Y'all, y'all did it. That was a good one. I just got to tip my hat. Amen. Uh, to, to to the winners, you know, y'all did a good Listen, that, that that W was coming. We just had to wait on it. That's all it was. Hey, look, you know, I ain't tripping. You know, I got a W under my belt as well. We're gonna come back for another one. You know how that goes. But y'all, this is good fun, man. Man, this has been another, another lengthy long. but good fucking yeah, we, show. We, 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 Less long. respect. Listen, and this is this is what you're gonna get sometimes. Sometimes you're gonna get a nice little tight. 115, 120, and then you might get an extended version. Get you get what you live. Five, 150, two hours. But we appreciate y'all for tuning right. in and checking us out, though. 
please we don't conti it. please continue to like subscribe comment yes. give us give thank us some you. tweets give them like that feedback that we need so much thank we you so much it. we love doing this we want to keep doing it we have we've been working on some other content that's going to be dropping out as well so thank y'all for supporting this everybody that supported episode one two right. and three keep getting those views thank y'all we appreciate y'all make sure y'all follow us um at our hashtags um, what is that? No sleep crew. Shout no out. Sleep, to we appreciate y'all. Again, we're on every podcast platform, uh, Apple, Google, Spotify. Y'all know where they at. And we on YouTube. So thank y'all. Thanks. Keep, keep liking and subscribe. Keep following us. Keep building with us. We're about to grow. We're getting better, um, bigger and better. And, um, and we you love y'all, but yo, oh, we'll just, uh, close this thing. I know you out there in Costa Rica, you got to go to the club, you yeah. go party with the locals. It's I don't want to keep here. Keep you longer than what we done did here. Yeah, and plus I want to keep drinking. So tip sure, my hat off too. to you guys. Uh, but we done. We out we here. We out of here. Peace, Boogie. Bye. Bye.